Keep on, keep on. Put it on top. And now, once this is over, what we have to do, we have to hold the sari behind, like this. And take this extra and then bring it up. Why we do that is so that we get a nice shape. So when you hold it like this, we'll get the nice shape. Yeah, this will just come on top like this, which will look very, um, will not look nice. It'll look like very soggy and all that. So once we hold it like this, you hold it like this and pull the top part front, then it'll be easy. Once we do that, take the sari behind and the extra of the sari, you can just put it through that loop and pull it on the other side. So done. So sari is almost done. Now is the correction part. So now it looks like really weird. So what we have to do, first we have to make sure like the fleets come. Fleets all we don't need to separately put. Yes, if we can put fleets is not wrong. But when time is not there or you need to put fast, you can just quickly adjust. And also, the this is also one reason why you should not use a new shari because it will come very puffy. But the easiest way to fix this puffiness is by using the hip belt. It's called Woddianam. Woddianam, when you put, it will become all right. This puffiness will all go. Try to make sure the neck is also seen. Only when the neck is seen, the beauty will be seen. So we have come still here. Now it looks good to one extent. If we, when we put the hip belt or if we tie a string also, the beauty will become very nice. The hip will be seen. Now it's just looking so fat. Once we tie this, it look more nice because the hip will be seen. For female deities always, the hip and neck should always be seen. Then only the beauty will be seen of the deity. So now we have seen how to put sari for the deity. Now we will start putting the jewels.